Right, in this video I'm going to show you how um, to make his legs go backwards and forwards. I know most of them have the legs at a fixed angle, um, but for some strange reason I decided to try and make them go backwards and forwards, a bit like I think it's called a 3-2-3, three, three, except for the middle leg doesn't retract into the body on this particular one. Um, this one's obviously got voice recognition running off the laptop down there, which obviously it's got a smaller one that fits inside. Um, so if we say move legs, does that, and we go back over here and say stand, you see the legs go back in. Now the movement is restricted as I'll show in a minute deliberately, um, so if I say move legs, they come back out, and stand, okay. Right now, I'll show you how that um, that's all works inside. Just take the head off carefully. Okay. All right, we look down inside here. Um, just grab a screwdriver so we can point out a bit better. All right, if we look down inside. What we've got is an aluminium rod that goes from shoulder to shoulder, basically across here. There we go. There. And then round it, we've got this collar with a rod that goes out. So it's kind of like akin to a pair of mole grips, if you like, gripping this rod. And then down there, that is linked over there, look, to a linear actuator. This particular one is a threaded one taken off of, um, I think it came off of a BMW electric seat, actually, bought on eBay for about five quid or something. So basically what happens, as you apply voltage to that motor, it moves this actuator out which pushes this and essentially changes the angle between the front leg stroke body and um, the pair of legs backwards and forwards. Now you can adjust the uh, angle obviously by shortening this rod which then takes more torque off from the motor and over here, you see down in there, look over there, there we go, um, I've got two limit switches here and another little collar and this is essentially just measuring the angle or restricting the angle and as it comes along hits these dip switches and it's just part of the um, limit switch through motor reversing circuit so it's relatively straightforward and it's controlled way down in there um, there's a USB port coming in at the bottom at the moment and then beyond this stepper motor lead here down there somewhere, can't quite see it, is a simple little some micro servo onto a toggle switch which moves it backwards and forwards um, which then actuates the, uh, the legs and obviously the toggle switch servo is connected to a PULU I think it's called or PULU or some strange name servo controller which is a USB one which goes down there and comes out the bottom here look and into the laptop so there you go relatively straightforward